can barely be in this moment because I'm still shaking off the last one. Hey spookies! The day is upon us. Happy Halloween everybody! It's the day we've all been waiting for! I love a holiday honestly. It's been a long horror season. Many, many spook time classics, all of them amazing. And tonight is the culmination of a lot of hard work, but the end of nothing because we will still have horror movies, y'all. We will still be watching horror on the regular. It's not like the end of October means the end of our fun. So don't worry, but we did have a poll. We're gonna still watch everything that was on the poll. The winner of the poll is The Exorcist our Halloween day spook time classic. And it is a legitimate classic. What I know about this movie is that it came out in 1973. I will be shocked if I recognize anyone in this movie. So that'd be fun, some new faces. I don't know much else about this other than it's obviously about someone needing an exorcism, I'm assuming. I, mean, I guess we're gonna follow the doer of the schism, but I don't know, God bless the poor soul that is gonna need it. I obviously heard about this movie my whole life, but I have never watched it because it seems pretty dark. <laughs> but I'm ready, okay? I'm ready. I also, we red wining tonight, okay? Nothing protects the soul like the blood of the lamb. The sanctified, okay? Mm. That's good. I feel armed, ready. Y'all know I'm from the Bible Belt, so I can rebuke with the best of them. I have had so much fun with these horror movies, y'all. I am really... <laughs> shocked that this is the person I've become that I can just sit here and watch horror movies one after the other but that's what it has turned into and I'm happy about it I'm loving it I've had so much fun talking to y'all about horror movies and getting y'all suggestions also had a really fun chat with Waylon Jordan over at iHorror about our horror journey here on this channel and um yeah I'll leave the link to that down in that section you know if you want to read about that and how we got here and where we plan to go. It was a good time. And I have a lot of great suggestions from Waylon that will be popping up on the channel, hopefully. So I'll clue y'all into that as time goes on. And please, please keep giving suggestions regardless of the season. But since we are moving into Thanksgiving, Christmassy times, if y'all wanna drop down some festive selections for the Thanksgiving and Christmas season, y'all know I love that too. Yeah, we should probably get into this one. I am watching the extended director's cut as begged. We have two hours and 12 minutes of exercising ahead of us and I'm excited for it. I'm not too particularly terrified of this one and y'all know it can be hard for me sometimes <laughs> but I find that when I'm dealing with spirits and the like I can take it much easier because I'm like okay. <laughs> I know that if this was me in the situation, I would simply leave. So I don't feel as terrified <laughs> as I do when I'm watching like a real life stalker man trying to kill someone. So I'm not too, too scared going into this. I hope that's not foolish. We're about to find out. Oh, I didn't realize this was rated R. That's a big deal for something in the 70s to be rated R, isn't it? They literally were like, Jaws, PG. What did this have to do to get it? is dire already because those violins are an attack. Beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> what are we digging for, babies? <laughs> this little quickling. <laughs> Sir, should you be out there digging? You seem like there's only one lawn in your ears to be in this heat, no water. Why are you gulping? Is that what you were looking for? It's beautiful. Hun, what is going on? You're looking real bad. They're thinking the same thing. Are you gonna die right there at the cafe? Okay, yeah. You should go on wherever you stay at. Ask them to call you a doctor. He's a priest slash archaeologist. Are you about to fall out in front of this horse cart? Be careful. That old woman had places to be. I'm literally aging as we speak. I am already a thousand years old. I have to get where I'm going. Honey, what do you hope to gain going to the ruins in your sickness? Oh. 
Oh my god. Where did those dogs come from? I mean, that's beautiful, but why? What is happening? <laughs> did you make it back to the America's Priest? Look at your jammies, girl. I love it. Uh-oh. Sheer and backlit. Bad sign for horror. Are you just gonna investigate the bear that's scratching in your basement? Uh-huh. Oh, Carl, we've got rats in the attic. You better get some traps. Wait, I do recognize her. Yeah, or maybe rats. Yes, I can. There's definitely something living up there. Oh, she's an actress. What's up with this guy? Kind of sounds like the Halloween score. Maybe John Carpenter was inspired by this. Oh, the drama I love. What you do today? Yeah. And then came along on this beautiful gray horse. Oh, I love lovely. It. Oh, well, can't we get a horse? No. Sound like me when I was little. <laughs> when can I have one? Girl, a horse costs more than a child, okay? Delightful. It's gonna be her that needs the exorcism, isn't it? <sighs> oh, father, you're supposed to help the poor regardless. Are you faking fatherhood? Oh, who's Carza? You sure are living in modesty, as the good book says. Mom, I could take you somewhere where you'd be safe and wouldn't be alone. This is my house. Oh and man. I'm not going no place. That's how old people be. But I would be uncomfortable with it. Especially if what happened to her leg? Is it sickness or does she hurt herself? Either way, she don't need to be alone. You don't even live there? Where'd this come from? A Ouija board. Leave that alone, girl. I don't know why people think that's cute. I would not. <laughs> why meddle in things the likes of which you don't understand? Why? Really don't want me to play, huh? No, I do. Captain Howdy said no. What the hell? Captain Howdy. Looked to me like that thing jerked on his own. Mm. What are we gonna do in the first game? I don't know. We'll sightseeing. And tomorrow night, take it to a movie. Oh. Okay. No, I love you. Not their relationship being the sweetest, healthiest thing. Ugh. It's yeah. gonna be heartbreaking when this goes bad, isn't it? Mr. Dennings, if you like. Okay, fair enough. Back off. <laughs> I think I've lost my faith, Tom. Aw. Operator, you have got to be kidding. I have been on this line for 20 minutes. Jesus what? Christ, can you believe this? He doesn't even call his daughter on her birthday for Christ's sake. Oh. Oh, sir, it's, oh, sir, it's my ass. He doesn't give a shit. What are you looking for? Don't no, let her hear you. No, operator, don't tell me there's no answer. Operator, I've given you the number four times. Girl, just give the number you again. Don't take out your anger on the operator. Just because your ex-husband is a deadbeat, it's not that operator's fault. I don't like when people attack customer service. There's no need for that. There's no point in that. That does not help anyone. Hey, what, what, what are we doing, scene 61? What are you doing here? My bed was shaking. I can't get to sleep. Maybe she just wanted to be near you because her dad is a motherfucking deadbeat and she heard you say on the phone that he don't give a fuck about her earlier today. <laughs> Seriously though, I live in New York City. Never met a rat that sounded like a demon. Like that's something else. That's not ratliness, girl. Nothing, there's nothing in that trap. Cause it ain't a rat. <gasps> oh, Carl, Jesus Christ, Carl, don't do that. What do you mean, bitch? Are you gonna ignore the fact that that flame just turned a torch? Thanks a lot, that's terrific. At the very least, you have a gas leak, bitch. Probably it's the devil, but <laughs> it might be a gas leak. That is a beautiful church, though. Beautiful. Look at those flowers. Gorgeous. <gasps> oh, Lord! That is dark-sided. <laughs> Why would you be so demented as to go into anyone's place of worship and do something like that? Like, leave people alone. Leave people alone. Perfectly 
still breathe normally. Ah! Babe! Can you feel this? I don't feel anything. When the red light goes on, that's your temperature. Oh, what? Girl! This sweet little baby is in the throes of a possession already. Disorder of the nerves. This is 1973 version of ADHD. Now this is for Redlin. Literally, it's that. Okay. Do you think I should take her to a psychiatrist? Yes. No. I think we should wait and see what happens with the Redlin. Okay, but even What's if it is ADHD, it can't hurt for her to have someone to talk to. Well, she's been telling that's private, huh? Have you ever known your daughter to swear? Well, she let loose quite a string while I was examining her. What'd she say? Her vocabulary is rather extensive. What? You need to tell me exactly what, what my child said. said. What did, like, exactly what she said. You advised me to keep my fingers away from her. Goddamn cunt. Oh. That's intense. I, psychiatry, at least. Well, I think the best explanation is always the simplest. Wow. So You're a bad medical wait. professional, just so you know. In we exactly. believe in holistic healing over here. Mind, body, and worry. spirit. You should have called me the minute it happened. Listen, regular hospital, not gonna put up with that, do you understand? Mama, I'm gonna take you home. Oh my god, she's strapped to this bed. She'll put us someplace else. Like what? Private hospital? Who got the money for that, Dimmy? Oh you? god. I got sad news for you, Dimmy. Things in America have not changed. 2021, your mother would have still ended up in some fucked up place like that because you can't afford health care. I mean, who's the priest I keep seeing? He's very intense looking. Damien Karras, our psychiatric counselor. He had a pretty rough knock last night, poor guy. His mother passed away. She was living by herself, and I guess she was dead a couple of days before I found her. Oh my god. Sloppy, embarrassing. Bye, go. Don't embrace me. Just go. Get out of my face. Yeah, that's fine. Girl, your look is so sweet, though. Both of you look beautiful. Okay, the baby's trying to sleep, though. Can you relax? That little girl has enough going on. She needs her rest. She's like, ah, ah, pipe down, bitches. Oh my god. Oh my god, that would be so horrifying. Mother, what's wrong with me? I don't know, honey. Could be a demon. We need to take you to a psychiatrist. The doctor said it's nerves, and that's all. Poor little girl. And her poor mother, God. She's really scared. Wow. It is a oh. Okay, if you saw that, you would go get your child. Like, why are you trying to make the bed stop? Just get her the fuck out there. <laughs> like, why are you trying to reason with this demon mattress? You experience a localized earthquake and you just go and like try to subdue it with your body. <laughs> Fucked up grief nightmare. And then we flash to this nonsense. Ooh. <gasps> Where did you even learn to speak like this child? Y'all don't even have the internet. Shaking of the bed. That's doubtless due to muscular spasms. Oh, I no. walked in and the bed was like, honey. I got on the bed. <laughs> the whole bed was thumping and rising up the floor with me on it. The problem with your daughter is not her bed, it's her brain. This is crazy. He's not even hearing the words and believing the words that are coming out of her mouth. Lesion in the temporal lobe. It's a kind of seizure disorder. And look, Doc, I really don't understand how. So she has a lesion on her MRI? Like, how do you know this? It's very common. All we have to do is remove the scar. You're just gonna cut into her brain before you even know? God, look at her lips. Can she get some chapstick? Okay, so she's getting the test now. Don't move. Good God, this poor baby. <gasps> this poor child. Oh my God, her mother must be racked. Ugh. Imagine witnessing this as the mother. Like, she's so young. Why didn't they sedate her for this? Oh, oh my God. Praise medical advancements, because this is fucked. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Uh, just nothing missing. Yeah, like, after okay. all that, her films are clean. Painful and expensive tests for nothing. And the baby's up there shrieking and writhing again. Did you give her the medication she needed? Yes. Thorazine. You gave her Thorazine? <laughs> Oh, God. Are you just gonna 
stand there and look at her from across the room? Oh my god, she has no pupils. The throat of a towel! Ah! She throwing hands! The is mine. Fuck me! Oh my god! Okay, sedate this child, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at her mother. Oh, look at this one. We still think the temporal lobe. Oh, what are you talking about, for Christ's sakes? Her Did you clean. see her or not? Psychotic, like a, what you, a split personality or what? Now I know the temptation to to psychiatry. Okay, but there are no physiological indicators at this point. Psychiatrists exhaust the somatic possibilities first. I get that. I get you. But. <laughs> it will involve another spinal. Uh, <laughs> horrifying. What are you horrifying? Why don't you just ball her up and throw her in the goddamn washing machine? What is this? So we're nowhere. We have nothing. Oh, beautiful scarf, girl. Keep any drugs in your house? No. Y'all haven't run a toxicology, sure. all this blood you took? Well, of course I'm sure. I think it's time we started looking for a psychiatrist. Oh, finally. <laughs> Not even gonna deal with it, just gonna keep on moving. Hello? Girl, the devil is playing with your wiring now. Get a hobby, demon. Sure. <laughs> These little ghost faces, honey, I can't take it. Oh, it's freezing cold in there? Why is that window open when my daughter's half out of her mind? She might fly out of that thing in the middle of the night for funsies. Wasn't there somebody here watching her? She didn't even wake up. It's so cold in there. You see your breath and the bitch is just laying there. What the hell do you mean going off and making right by yourself? Okay. Are you crazy? Her window's wide open. Oh, oh, yeah. it's work. It's, what's work got to do? Look, there wasn't anybody here, so when I went to get Thorazine, I had him stay with her and... So, I'm sorry, Bert came I've over and then heard. just left her? Haven't heard. Heard what? I got enough going on. Bert's dead. He was supposed to be watching my daughter. He been drunk. He fell down from the top of the steps right outside. Broke his neck. Oh, God. <laughs> for real, girl. Could you take anything else? It's just hit after hit for this woman. <laughs> oh, oh, she's bleeding. Oh. I mean... Want to touch your forehead? Are you comfortable, Ray? The child is absent. Yes. Speaking to the person inside of Reagan now. <laughs> Whoever made her crab walk down the stairs like a demon. Oh, 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 she's grabbing the mastic. Oh my god. I hate to say it, but y'all have got to get a straight jacket on that little girl. You cannot just have her hands flying free when she's capable of this type of thing. Come on now. I want to know what his connection is to that medallion and Father Decrepit. Uh, three and a half kingdom and homicide. Burke Dennings, the last week he died. Father, well, what do you know on the subject of witchcraft? Desecration in the church. You think this has anything to do with witchcraft? Maybe. Dennings, you, you read how he died. On a fall. Yeah, a drunken stumbler. Let me tell you how. And please. Uh, that was a lie. Confidential. Wait, did she kill him? The demon child? Burke Dennings was found at the bottom of those steps leading to M Street with his head turned completely around, facing backwards. Well, that's not good. I think the killer and the desecrator are the same. You're the psychiatrist. You know who was sick at the time. I don't know anyone who fits that description. He doesn't know everyone either. We call it uh, some nambuliform possession. Oh, my God. Look at her face. Not at all. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Jesus Christ, 88 doctors, and all you can tell me was all of your bullshit is... Yeah, you need to get some other types in. I need a monk. I need a priest. I need some Wiccans. I need the works. I need everybody to assess the situation. Tell me what you think. What do you think this is? There is one outside chance for a cure. The Lord? I think of it as a shock treatment. As I said, it's a very outside chance. What you just mean? God's sakes. Have you ever heard of exorcism? It uh, has worked, although not for the reasons they think, of course, force of suggestion. Yet. Well, we love the, the placebo uh, effect. Give me a priest. Belief in possession, belief in the power of exorcism, you make it disappear. There you go. Okay. <laughs> You're telling me that I should take my daughter.
daughter to a witch doctor. Is that it? Cheers, sis. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta get the demon out of that baby. Okay. Beautiful fall day for an exorcism. Get it out there. Nice yellow leaves. Bringing our darling in in the flannel shroud. Hoping for the best. <laughs> what is that? It's a cross. What's that? A piece of clay or something? Might your daughter remember perhaps if Mr. Dennings was in her room that night? Why do you ask? Oh, might she remember? You think my demon child murdered him? Just say so. It's serious. Yes, I'm afraid it is. May I ask? We still don't know. It's a possession. Watch out for drafts. Magic carpet for bacteria. What Least of our worries, babe, but thanks. My opinion. Witches. Killed by a very powerful man. The servants, they have visitors. Not Michael Myers. Not somebody strong enough to package, twist a neck. Not that I know. A package. I really wouldn't know. See, Carl takes care of all that. All I do is act and mother, okay? I don't know any neck twisters. Except for maybe my daughter. No, never mind. Thanks for stopping by, Detective. Bye. It's cute. Your daughter, she's the artist? Oh, that's what he found? Some little clay thing she made? You might ask your daughter if she remembers seeing Mr. Dennings in her room that night. No! She doesn't even remember who the fuck she is. For my daughter, could you please give an autograph? Are you shitting me? You're here to investigate a murder. I'm telling you, you have a sick child upstairs and you want an autograph? I lied. It's for me. Get out of my house. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, I rebuke you faster than the demon. Go. Get out. I'm literally so exhausted emotionally, physically, spiritually. You're a very nice lady. Too nice. Putting your coat on, giving you the hat. Bye. Poor baby. She's like, oh shit, my daughter probably did it. <laughs> Let me sign this autograph to get her off the hook for the murder. No. Where's my wine? Oh my God, it's like a scene from Legion. Oh, 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 oh. No, uh, 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 no, 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 no. I can't do that, y'all. I can't do that. Oh, she's gonna stab you. We can carry on. I don't know. 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 Please go away. I'm Father Karras. Have you got a cigarette, Father? A cigarette, honey. I need something much harder than that. Good God. Why would they make a child say those things? I'm afraid to forget to be a priest. Society sent me for medical school. Harvard, Belgium. Why don't they have money? God. Places like that. They have budget, huh? Your friend Father died. How do you go about getting an exorcism? I need one. I need an exorcism. What's living in my house is from the hell. Possessed by a demon or something. Well, the first thing I'd have to get him into a time machine and get him back to the 16th century. Honey, I look up the procedure. I need one. It just doesn't happen anymore, Miss McMahon. Well, since we learned about mental illness, paranoia, and schizophrenia. I mean, you are right. <laughs> you are right. I get it, but. I've never met one priest who has performed an exorcism. Not one. I get you, but like, uh, I need it. <laughs> That somebody very close to me is possessed. It's probably possessed. It's my little girl. Please, it is that or death. I am <laughs> leaning towards I death. Don't forget about exorcism. You could do it yourself. No, I couldn't. I need church approval, and that's very good. Well, come and see her. They'll approve it in seconds. Trust me. Yes, I could. I could see her as a psychiatrist, but I can't oh, see her. Oh, not a psychiatrist. Okay, fine. Whatever you She's need. Seen every fucking psychiatrist. If you want to wear the psychiatrist hat, that's fine. But I'm telling you, within seconds, you're going to be putting that collar on and shaking some holy water. I need help. me. Help me. Help me. Get her a lozenge. Hello, Reagan. And they're feeding her through this tube. I'm a friend of your mother's. I'd like to help you. I'm not Reagan. Clearly. Why is Reagan? In here. With us. Us. Plural. And you're helping all the boy father. 
Your mother sit here with this carrot. How do you know all this stuff? You must be the devil. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. How would a child what is it? know exactly what that homeless man said to you? <laughs> They really, they put a lot into this. And they didn't scamp. <laughs> Every scene lingers on the mind. I can barely be in this moment because I'm still shaking off the last one. Nothing you can do could make it any worse. Literally. I can't do it. What do you propose I Any do then? The evidence that the church would accept is signs of possession. Like what? I don't know. I have to look it up. Well, hit the box, bitch! You Please! Be an expert. There are no experts. Okay. I mean. You show me Reagan's double, and I'd know it was a fake. I'd know in my gut. They had a bond, like I'm telling you the purest mother daughter relationship. Daughter. She knows. I want you to tell me that you know for a fact. You tell me you know for a fact that an exorcism wouldn't do any good. You tell me that! I'm gonna cry. She is at wit's end. She's had so much to deal with. <sighs> this is hateful. Oh, this detective is hanging out too? I'm finna go get myself a crouton or something and do my own little communion because I'm pressed right now. I already got the blood. I just need the body. This is my body. When the supper was ended, he took a cup. Whew. This is a cup of my blood. Mm. What an excellent day for an exorcism. That's what I said! <laughs> Can you hear me too? I'll drive you out of Please, the Please, demon, don't come here. What's that? Holy water. Good! Spread it on that bitch. You keep it away. Uh, uh, it burns. <laughs> Ew. Don't let it vomit on you again. Please. You're getting close. You bold. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> he looks like he's a believer now. <laughs> No, it's alright. I'll take it straight. It's fine. No, it's fine. Take I it. need it now. I don't. <clears throat> fuck the rest, okay? I will take the liquor. In fact, just bring the bottle over here. I told Reagan that was holy water. I sprinkled it on her and she reacted very violently. Is it? It's tap water. What's the difference? Holy water's blessed. But blessed is belief. And if she believes it's holy water, then it's holy, right? <laughs> timbers in one voice? How does she do that if it isn't the devil? It's English. It's English in reverse. Listen. How could you decipher that by ear alone? If this isn't enough of a case for possession, I don't know what it is. Do I literally have to grow the horns and let my skin turn red and hot? I am the devil, damn it. What is it gonna be? you need I got subcutaneous messages all right I got it all bleeding from the mouth I got green vomit I got twisted heads you would want to do the exorcism yourself honestly yes bring in all of us I think we should have a group shenanigan it'd be best to have a man of experience is this where y'all are gonna bring back father archaeology how about Lancaster Mary that's the name she kept saying Lad Dosen, he was over in Iraq he's at Woodstock now don't you think he's too old huh must be all right he's still running around digging up tombs <laughs> I had the same question though when he was digging he's in had, that dirt. He's had experience. Oh wow. The exorcism supposedly lasted months. Mo Pretty damn near killed him. Oh, and you think he's gonna wanna get back in the ring with the devil? I don't know. Not you having to leave the piece of Woodstock to go mano a diablo. <laughs> Sharpen your crosses, father. The eyes too, like uh, possessed. My father Maddie. Babe, you're looking like Father Time, old as it's life itself. Are you very tired? No. You're not worried that the demon is calling you by there? Quickly across the wrist. Would you like some brandy in that, Father? Yes. It might be helpful if I give you some background on the different personalities of the demon. Yes. Yeah. 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 So far, I'd say there seem to be three. She's convinced that there's only one. He said, don't waste our time on semantics, okay? We are going in to vanquish the devil. Focus. <laughs> oh, she looks terrible. What is your daughter's middle name, Miss McNeil? 
Grace. You have to speak a full name and a rebuking. Oh, it's frigid in there. Stick your cock up her. Must we? I mean, oh. really. Everything that comes out of your mouth is just the greenest of goops. Would you stop with the tongue work? Oh, your mother sucks cocks in hell. Really? Your wig is a mess. We can both take shots. Let's not. Aren't you tired? I hope they're able to free her. Oh, the whole bed is levitating. Father Karras! Hello, hello, Major Leagues. We're not playing anymore. Get with it. Father Anthropology does not care. He's like, huh? Ew, the tongue is foul. Ew. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. Oh, Father. Are you affected? Please. We need you. Karras cannot do this. Yes. You're a homophobic demon? You have no bounds. Oh, this is just terrible. Oh, this is horrid. Her head is twisting like a doll baby. Oh my gosh, whipping the blanket? Please, out damn spot. Just go. Yo, what are... Yes. <laughs> We know that one. <laughs> the power of Christ! Let's leave this girl, please. The power of Christ compels you! Karis is like saying it with devotion now. You. He is fully in the power of Christ compels you! The Christ. He has aged 50 years during this exorcism. God the Son commands you. He still will not let up. I will continue the exorcism. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Where did that statue come from? Are you gonna loosen your grip on the child? Or not? Nah? You, 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 how do you have the stamina? Kira's can't even get off the edge of the bed, but you need to. Cause you don't know if this thing is gonna pop up and molly whop you again. Will you excuse me, Jamie? I'm worried to be alone. Could you just stay here? <laughs> Please? <laughs> oh, goodness. Father, you're looking feeble. Your mother in clown face? Dimi, why you do this to me? Oh, this is dark. Dimi, please. You just got tricks on tricks on tricks. You my father! Don't listen. Get out. This might not be the right time to bring this up, but even if we do save the child, is her life gonna be worth a living? I'm just concerned about the outcome. I don't know if we can run this back. Not by half, babe. From what I can tell, we may never be. Is she gonna die? Maybe. Possibly. It might be better. Oh. No. Okay, we're still on optimism. I got you. Mm. Take the phone off the hook, girl. That was your doorbell ringing? Detective nosy ass, please. We have an exorcism going down here tonight. How do we end up here? Oh, is she dead? Oh, he looks deceased. Oh, that demon took him. He is dead. Oh, father, it's just you and the Okay, it's still the body of the child, though. Come into me. Oh, man. The demon, and then he killed himself. Oh, let me see your face, honey. Is it really you? Both of those priests died to save that girl. Are you sorry for having a fit of God? Oh my God, he's still alive. He's getting the blessing. Oh, that is devastating. Oh. The devil is alive! But not anymore. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely moving. <laughs> pack our shit. <laughs> Never looking back. Nope. In fact, don't even pack anything. Let's just go. Like, <laughs> we'll take the clothes on our backs and buy new shit. I have movie star money. I can't. <laughs> I 
can't work for you anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all need to move. I need to move. We have to part ways. Good luck with your daughter. Can that protect her in some way? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> what do you want from me? If it helps, at least it was for my daughter who is a very pure soul and did not deserve what happened to her. She doesn't remember any of it. Any? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Literally, God is good. Hello. Oh, honey. Oh. I thought you'd like to keep this. Why don't you keep it? I'm still not positive of the significance of that metal. Did the devil enter him because it was ripped off his neck and it was like his protection was gone? Like, I don't know. <laughs> How's the girl? Apparently fine. She seemed fine. That's important. Back to business, back to work. Okay. Bye, father. Goodbye. So you just put exorcism down as case solved, like cause of death, murder by demon, exorcism. You go to films? All good. Sure. Wow. Um, that was demented. Ugh. Wow, I did not think it was gonna be that demented, to be honest. I couldn't have anticipated they would have the child up to that manner of horrificness. Mm. It was rough. A very good movie. Don't know if I'll ever be able to watch it again, even though I think that a second viewing would be beneficial to understanding all of the pieces of the story because there were still a lot of things where I was like I'm not positive of the significance of this and it might just be because I'm not wholly aware of all the religious intricacies even though uh, I grew up in the church a lot of that went over me because it's Catholicism and that's a whole different bird so I'm definitely interested to hear what y'all have to say about it I know a lot of people think it's not their favorite because it's very slow. The pacing is, it does have a lot of breath. So I understand that if it's not your kind of thing, but I don't know, I don't mind a lingering sort of story. I'm a fan of that kind of thing if everything is well placed. And I do feel like things were well placed in this movie. So yeah, I have good things to say about it. I have questions about it still, but it was very interesting, disgusting, terrifying, upsetting, and quite a spooky selection. <laughs> I was definitely spooked. Mm. Yeah, y'all. I'm so excited for everything that we have coming in the future. We have more horror on deck. We have sci-fi on deck. We have action, adventure. We have it all. And more importantly, always looking for more. So please give me suggestions. Non-horror suggestions are especially appreciated right now because I have horror movies for days, y'all. We will not run out and I'm really excited about all of them, but we also want things that are not horror related and it might be difficult because y'all know I have seen a lot of movies. If you're looking for first time reactions, it might be something that I've already seen before. If it's non-horror so we'll just have to run through the list and see and we have more movies to come in our rewatch reaction series so just because I've seen it before it doesn't mean it won't be fun for us to watch together y'all I will rewatch a movie like a motherfucker okay trust <laughs> a lot going on also lately for spooky season for our past couple weeks we've had two movies we've had one on Sunday and one on Tuesday this will be our Halloween Sunday spooky selection Tuesday we will not have a movie don't be here looking for one, because there won't be one, okay? I'm sorry. Um, because I'm gonna go out and spook, so maybe, we'll see. I don't know, pandemic. Um, but figure something out. Always, you can count on Sundays. There will be something for us to watch together here on this channel on Sunday. And I can't wait to see y'all later on in this week. Also, we have um, The Expanse, <laughs> season six, final season, coming up in December, so. Look out for that as well, y'all. Maybe a little early for that announcement, but um, whatever, I'm making it. So yeah, talk to me in the comments, y'all, and I will see you soon.